Let's go over the basics of how the sequencer in the Mother32 works. There are two modes, keyboard and step mode, which can be accessed by holding shift and pressing either KB or step. We're going to start out in keyboard mode, so hold shift and press the KB button at the same time. In order to make sure that there's no previously recorded information on this pattern, we're just going to erase it by holding reset, shift, and pattern at the same time. Now when we hit the run button, we should just hear a single note on the first step. To start recording in keyboard mode, hold shift and run at the same time, and you'll see the first step start to blink. Now we can program in a melody step by step by using the keyboard buttons below, or the hold rest button to add a rest. I'll do that now. In the last step, I'll use a rest. You have up to 32 steps to work with. To exit record mode, we'll push the run stop button, and to hear our sequence back, we'll press the run stop button again. Press the run stop button to stop the sequence. Now let's look at our sequence in step mode. Hold shift and press step. If we press the run stop button again, we'll see the sequence below as we hear it play. Since the sequencer can only display eight steps at a time, it uses multiple pages to show playback of longer sequences. By default, it will scroll automatically as it plays back, but we can use these four buttons up top to skip to a page automatically. One through eight, and in ours, nine through 16. You'll notice the rest at the end is represented by the eight light being off. We can turn on and off individual steps by simply pressing the key associated with that step. Now let's see what that looks like as the sequence plays back. We'll go to the first page, turn off every other note. You can further edit each step by holding shift and the number of the step. Let's change the note on the first step. Shift and one. You can tell that we're editing that step because it is flashing. We can do this while the sequence is playing as well. Let's change that to an octave up from where it is. Exit, hold shift, and that's step number again. I usually leave the Mother32 in keyboard mode during playback to avoid accidentally entering new steps. There's a couple of handy things you can do once you have a sequence recorded. While we play back, the Mother32 will transpose our sequence to any note we push. We can change our tempo with this knob right here. Hopefully this was helpful, and if there's anything else you'd like to see us go over, please let us know in the comments.